it's hard to describe, you know, it's, it's got over the line, uh, just, just grateful, uh, obviously relieved, um, just grateful to finish how I did and managed to get it done. Uh, today was tough, obviously, um, I mean, the mind is, is all over the show, obviously, it's, uh, I, I had it under control, I think, the first three days, um, today was, I, I didn't, um, so just, I don't know how to describe it, you know, it's, um, I've been a pro, what, 12 years or something, and, um, it's um, 10 years, I've been trying to do this for 10 years, get across the line and I feel like I've been close, 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 close and just never quite got it. So to finally get it over the line is, is massive. What was your mind like out there on the, well, back nine? Yeah, I mean, I, I literally missed like a two footer on nine um, and then just just trying to just trying to hit play my own game. I wasn't concentrating on, on Nathan going well or, or the score leaderboard at all. I didn't look at a leaderboard. Um, you can't work out all the permutations of how you lie, and I know I needed a, a top three. I knew that, but you know whether it's tired and it's enough, you, you don't know. So just trying to do what I could. Um, uh, the bogey on the par five on uh, what's it, 13 or whatever, is, was tough to sort of swallow because you feel like you're going to get one there, and uh, to get one back was not good <laughs> at all. Um, but to birdie the t make two twos on the coming in on the par threes is pretty good. And I guess the emotion, it, it shows what golf's really about, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've tried to get it out a couple of times. Uh, I should be okay now. Um, but I just I just don't think people understand that you have this game, just sort of the highs and the lows. You know, the lows are low, uh, really low. So, and, you, and you're pretty much on your own. You know, you have your family and your, your whatever, your closest friends and stuff who try and help you through different things but at the same time you, you, you it's a lonely gig um, and it's a tough gig so to to be there kind of knocking your head against the wall is, is, is hard. How good has it been over the years to be with Lauren as well because she's been out? Yeah exactly well. it's something that that's awesome it's one of the best things we've ever done um, is for Lauren to caddy for me and us to just wing it like we did um, she totally gets what this is about and what's gone on um, you know she's caddied three years so um, that was a great experience for us and, and it's awesome to share that because she, know, she knows exactly what I'm trying to deal with out there today and, uh, and yeah, we can just both appreciate this together. And I guess, you've, well, you both had to sacrifice a lot, how many, when you packed yeah. up from South Africa and... Yeah, exactly, moved we've, we've moved to the UK because to make life on the challenge to a little bit easier, uh, it's, it's, I think it's almost impossible. I mean, I know Dion did it and guys did it, but they're away from home three months at a time, you know. Um, the difference, I think, is those guys are young enough. They're 23, 24, live, live with mom and dad, you know what I mean? They, they come in over to Europe living the dream, playing golf, where as you get old, and I think it's what makes these days like today that much more difficult, is you, you're you just so desperate to get that card because off the golf course, life's going on, you know? I'm 35, I have a little boy, um, so to just keep playing and keep falling short is, is tough, tough pill to swallow. Cambo's charging around. Do you think he knows what's going on? Yeah, no, not a clue. Not a clue. Not interested in, in dad at the stage either. So he's uh, he's a bit miz actually, old Cambo today. Um, but yeah, hopefully he'll he'll come right.